Today, I have a special follow along conditioning workout to share with you guys. It's not gonna be easy and we're gonna get sweaty, but this is what it takes if you wanna train like a fighter. If you like this one, there's a whole lot more where that came from with my new four week training program in the Fight Camp app. More on that later. For now, let's get to work. What up, everybody? Everybody, what's up, everybody? <laughs> what's up everybody welcome to my fight camp strength and conditioning workout now during my strength and conditioning workouts i do it as if i would in a fight right we're going to do five five minute rounds three exercises per round and at the end of every exercise we always do a core uh, core round a core workout so be ready for that now Early in my fight camps, I always do weight, weighted workouts, right? As we get closer to fight time, later on, we taper off and only do body weight uh, exercises. So I have my weights next to me. This round, today, we're going to have a weighted exercise, baby. Let's get it. Now, I've got light, medium, and heavy weight. So get them ready. Bring them next to you. Get your water ready, and let's rock and roll. In three, two, one, let's get it, y'all. All right, guys, we're going to be doing some squat punches. Squatting, rotation, punch. Squat, rotation, punch. We're going to do this for 18 seconds left. Squatting and punching. Make sure you got a good rotation. All right? I like to keep my hands up as if, I, as if I'm in a fight. We got 10 seconds left. Come on, guys. Get down there and punch. Three two, one, to the next exercise. Now, A skips. We're going to start with A skips, right? I'm picking my knee up just like so. For those of you that are new with this, start off with the A skip, okay? In about five seconds, we're going to add an arm swing. So here we go. Ready? And go. Arm swings with the A skips. Great way to warm that body up and get your breath going. We got five seconds. Four, three, two and one now we got the leg swings now starting off i'm not bouncing i'm just lifting my leg touching my toes if you want more advanced and if you can do it add a skip just like so try to work that leg up higher every time we got five seconds five four three Two and one. Into the next jumping jacks, baby. Good old classic jumping jacks. Feet together. And as you're exercising, remember to breathe. That's super important. In your nose, out your mouth. In your nose, out your mouth. We got 10 seconds. Come on, baby. Eight seconds. Come on. Keep pushing. Five, four, three, two, and one. Rest. Now, getting into our first round, we're going to start off with dead lift, calf raise, shoulder shrugs. I'm going to grab the my weights here. It's very simple. I'm squatting down up to a calf raise, shoulder shrug. That's going to be first. Making sure you pause at the end just a little bit. Then we're going to go into the neater press. So I'm going to grab my weights, squatting position, and I'm going to be shooting my hands out as if I'm throwing a double punch, and I'm trying to keep the weight above my shoulders. It's going to be harder than you think. And then last, we're going to finish with a high plank. I like to go here, but if you want to condition those knuckles like in the fight game, got to make sure that hands, uh, hands are hard, I go to a fist. So my two big knuckles. So get ready. Deep breath, y'all. Going to get after it. And five, four, three, two, one. Grab your weights. Give me a good squat, chest out, up, and give me a good squeeze at the top. Good squeeze in your calves and your shoulders, just like so. Looking up the entire time, making sure you're not looking down. Good position. Now, if you find yourself getting tired, let's not compromise technique. Just put the weights down and go body weight. All right, we got five, four, three, two, and one. Neater press right here. Squat 
And we're going to go here. We're going to punch it out. Keeping those uh, hands above your shoulders. Try to go as fast as you can. Ah, come on, baby. Let it burn. Ah, 15 seconds left, y'all. Make sure we're breathing. Don't be holding your breath out there. You got to breathe. We got five seconds, y'all. Come on. Four, three, two, and one. Let's get down into our plank position. Now, when I'm doing this, I like to press my back out, up, and keep my belly button like I'm pressing it to my spine. Make sure you're not getting your butt too high or too low. That's bad on the back. Keep it nice and flat, just like so. Now, if you're really hardcore, go knuckles. Make sure you're in a good fist, and I like to roll up to my two big knuckles like so, because those are the ones you're punching with. We got two seconds, and grab them again. Let's get back at it, y'all. Chest out, squat, boom, explode up. Squat, boom, explode up. Give me a little pause at the end. If you notice, I got a little pause going, a little extra squeezy squeeze at the top. Good deep squat, 10 seconds, y'all. Keep shrugging. Come on, five, four, three, two, and one. Need a press time. Squat down low. Let's pump them out. Try to get them above your shoulder, just like so. Don't want to go too high, right out in front. If you notice, I got a little bounce to go with it. It kind of helps you out. Got a little rhythm going. Breathe. If you ain't breathing, Ain't breathing hard, you ain't working hard enough. So let's keep going. Five seconds, four, three, two, and one. Back down in that plank position. I'm going straight knuckles. Come on, core tight. Press, the, press those shoulders out, up as high as you can, just like so. If you got to, go to your palms, right? Or work your way back up to your knuckles, whatever you like. I like to go hardcore. I like to go nucks. All right, we got it's our last round coming up, baby. Give me all you got. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, here we go. Feet shoulder width, squat, and shrug. You might feel it in those traps, those old trappity traps. Keep pushing, baby. Give me a good squat. I want you to feel those, feel those calves. Give me a good extra squeeze at the top. Squeeze at the top. Here we go. Getting ready to move on to the next. We got five seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Last needle press. Let's go. Here we go. Needle press. Let's rock. We're crushing it, baby. We're crushing it. Let's go. Keep pushing. And guess what? When I start feeling fatigued, always in my head, we don't get tired. That's, what, that's what's going on. We don't get tired. That's what I'm thinking. Keep pushing, y'all. Five, four, three, two, and one. Now, we're holding this last exercise. Remember, last one, we hold for a minute. We hold for a minute. So I'm going straight knuckles. Remember, keeping that core tight, pressing that belly button to your spine. Oh, breathe as you're in this position. In your nose, out your mouth. Go to your happy place if you have one. <laughs> I'm kidding, but seriously, though, do it. All right, here we go, baby. We got, we got 30 seconds left. And last 30. Let's go. Push it out. Now, keeping that core tight is very important, especially in the fight game. Throughout the fight, if your core isn't tight and you get kicked or punched to the body, you're done. And when you get those body shots, it's, they're hard to recover from. So keeping that core tight is crucial. So then we're building that cardio and building that core. Here we go. We got five, four, three, two, and one. We got that 60 second break. Now as you're shaking them out, as you're breathing in your nose, out your mouth, grab a sip of water. Next exercise is we're gonna grab our weights, we're gonna do our bent over rows, just like so. Knees slightly bent, trying to take the elbows past your back here. Get a good squeeze at the top. After that, I'm gonna grab my weights, go for the lighter ones, Ex uh, external shoulder rotations, keeping the elbows in line with the shoulder. After that, 
got to have our core exercise. All right, we got our cross climbers. Plank, taking the opposite knee to the opposite shoulder. We got this all day, baby. All day, say that in your head, all day. The more you sweat in peace, the less you bleed in war. So let's get after it. We got uh, 10 seconds. Ah, in your nose, out your mouth. We got this all day, y'all. Here we go, five, four, three, two, and one. Squatting position, elbows past your back. Give me a good squeeze at the top. Good squeeze at the top. If you want to bring your feet closer together, do so. Let me turn sideways so y'all can see. Elbow past. Elbow past. If you notice, my chest is out, right? My head is in line with my spine, not looking down, but in line with my spine, just like this. Give me a good squeeze at the top. Five seconds left. Three, two, and one. Grabbing my lighter weights. External shoulder rotations. Now, if you notice, I try to roll my shoulders for as far as possible. It's working everything up there. Shoulders, traps, back, keeping those elbows in line with my shoulders and just breathing it out. Just like so. Now, if you're not feeling a burn, grab a little heavier weight. If it's too much, grab a lighter weight or go no weight. You know what I mean, Jelly Bean? Three seconds, two, and one. All right, you guys. Here we go, plank position, knee to opposite elbow, just like so. My goal is to try and get them to touch, but if you can't, no worries. Some of you guys maybe, like me, lacks in the flexibility to be able to get them to those elbows. But this is where you need to be breathing and trying to recover, okay? Remember, spine tight, abs tight. Two, one, back up. Grab your weights. Squatting position, let's get them up, y'all. Bent over rows. This is the good stuff. If you're not sweating, like I said, you ain't pushing yourself hard enough. So if you're like me, you're sweating. I'm drenched over here, man. I'm feeling it in my shoulders. I'm feeling it in my back. And I hope you guys are too. Let's keep getting it, y'all. Squeeze at the top. Five seconds. Four, three, two, and one. External shoulder rotations. I just like saying that word. It's just a fun word to say. Say it with me. External shoulder rotations, y'all. External shoulder rotation. Keep the elbows up. What's great, too, is if you have one of these, get a mirror, man, and watch yourself train, watch yourself sweat. It's fun to see the benefits as well as you're working, getting the pump in those shoulders. All right, we got two seconds. Get ready to move on to the next. Let's go. Back in position. Let's get those knees to the opposite elbow. I like to reset myself after every one. Reset, go. Reset, go. So I'm making sure I'm in good position. Remember, not letting your abs do this. Don't let that back sag. Keep it up. We got 10 seconds left. Here we go. Three, two, and one. One, back at it, last round, let's shrug it, in your nose, out your mouth, I think of it as a fight, like I picture my opponent, every time I do on any kind of workout, especially strength and conditioning, I picture my opponent standing right in front of me, and I'm working way harder than them, you know, while they're resting, I'm working. On to the next one. Here we go. Grab your other weights. You know what I'm about to say. Go ahead and say it. External shoulder rotations. Look at me. I'm like raining over here. I'm sweating. Nothing like getting up in the morning and doing a fight camp workout with your boy Wonder Boy. Keep the elbows up. I know they're starting to fatigue right now. Keep those elbows up and keep pushing. Two and one. All right, this is where we're holding for a minute. Let's get after it. Knees. Let's pump. I'm picturing like I'm throwing a knee right now. Throwing a knee to somebody's body. Bah. Or maybe I'm in side control position. Throwing knees to the body. Non-stop. All right. We got the first 30 seconds almost down. We got another 30 to go. Here we go, last 30 seconds. 
Let's keep pushing, baby. Breathe. I want to hear you breathing. If you're not hearing yourself breathing, you ain't breathing at all. Ten seconds left. Come on. Y'all can do anything for ten seconds. Three, two, and one. Excellent work. We got a minute rest, y'all. All All right, next one. This was pretty difficult. I'm going to start from my knees. We're going explosive push-ups. Explosive push-ups. Just like so. Right after that, we're going to do the sit-up press. I want to have my weight here. I'm sitting up and I'm pressing. Keeping that core tight and head up. The last boxer twist. So, here, rotation. I like to hug my, my, my whatever weight I'm having, or you can keep it out in front, whatever you choose. Gonna rotate. Have your weights ready. All right, we got 15 seconds. Deep breath. You're gonna feel it in this area. I wasn't blessed with pecs, but we're gonna work them today. All right, we got five seconds. Oh my gosh. I'm dreading this one. Let's go, baby, come on. All right, here we go. Explosive push-ups. If you notice, I try to land nice and soft. Fingers first. Fingers first. Look, I'm sweating so much, I'm sliding out of frame here. Trying not to slide. We got 15 seconds, y'all. 15 seconds. If you need a harder push, go to your feet. Go off your knees. Keep pushing. Nice and controlled. We got three seconds left. All right, here we go. Now we're gonna have the sit up presses. Grab your weight, sit up, press. I like to go down controlled and explode up. Working that fast twitch. Whoo, whoo, breathe, whoo. We got 10 seconds, y'all. On this, you'll feel it in your abs and your arms. Four, three, two, and one. Grab, hold on to your weight. Here we go, twisties. Ba, ba, ba. Now, for this, you can keep your feet up or keep your feet, your heels down as long as you're in that incline position here, which is gonna work that stabilizer muscles, right? In your core. You'll feel it in your hips as well, which is gonna help your kicks out. Remember, when you're fatigued, your abs gotta stay strong. Back to the explosive push-ups. Here we go, everybody get ready. In position. Ah. Ah. Try to push yourself all the way up if you can. That's a good goal to have. Ah. Ah. Maybe get a little, little chest touch, like so. 10 seconds left, y'all. Five, four, three, two, and one. Grab your weights, sit up presses. Down control, boom, explode up. Control down, explode up. I'm visualizing my opponent is on top of me. Maybe I'm down. And I got to get them off of me. That explosive movement here is going to help. Bah. Get off me. God. <laughs> God. We got three seconds. Two and one. All right. Twisty time. <sighs> Breathe. Core tight. Try to keep that spine a little straight. Try not to get too rounded off. Trying to keep it fairly straight here. <sighs> if you notice... I like to make noises when I breathe. It reminds me that I'm breathing. If I can hear myself, then I'm doing it. You hear fighters do that all the time when they fight. Shoo, shoo, shoo. All right, all right, here we go. Back to the push-ups. Push, push, land soft. Right into the next. I'll let it cross my arms up as I push up. We got less than 10. Let's go, baby. This is the hard part. Two, one. Woo! 
I'm feeling it. Sit up and press. Remember, get off me. Push them up. Push them up. Push them up. Keep that core tight all the way down and all the way up. Push. Get off. <laughs> we got five seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Back into the twisties. Remember, you start feeling fatigued here, put those heels on the ground. It's actually easier to talk when I do it like that. <laughs> All right, pick it up. Pick it up. Faster. Come on. Even when you think you, can, you can't go any farther, it's all about mindset. Oh, you definitely can. So keep pushing hard, y'all. Oh, we got a minute. We got 30 seconds left. Keep pushing. Feet up. Come on. You got more left in you. Keep pushing. We don't get tired all day. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent work. We got our minute break. All right, next up, grabbing our weights, Romanian deadlifts. Keeping the back straight, back on my heels, going down, exploding up. It's all about technique here. Knee slightly bent. After that, we have the knee drives. We're knee striking. 15 seconds one leg, 15 seconds the other. All right, so make sure you guys go nonstop. And of course, the tempo, Superman's. In position, knees up, hands up, and we're pulsing it out. Pulsing it out. Grab a sip of water. Oh, I wanna grab me a quick, quick, quick sip. Hurry, hurry, hurry. No. Uh, all day, baby, all day. It's our recovery time. We're ready for round, whatever round this is, we're ready for it. <laughs> round four, let's go. All right, got my weight, knees slightly bent, toes up, back on those heels, go as far as you can down, explode up. You should feel it on those hamstrings. Remember, back straight, chest out the whole time. If you notice, my weight is close to my knees. And each time, I'm getting farther and farther down if I can, with good technique, all right? You gotta be able to do this. We got in four seconds. Three, two, one. Weight down, grab it. It's knee time. Boom, setting that foot all the way back behind you. Grab it, throwing those knees. If you notice, I got a little, little bounce with it. It helps make that knee more explosive, right? I got our opponent in the tie clinch. Boom. And we're wearing that body out with those knees. Other side. Whoa, I forgot to do the other side. <sighs> Keep pushing, y'all. Keep pushing. I'm going to start with this side next time. Here we go. All right. Next up, we got the tempo. So lay down your stomachs. Knees up. Pulsing them out. <sighs> Trying to keep my knees up as high as I can. You'll feel that in your hammies, your glutes, and of course, you're back. We got 13 seconds. We're flying. <laughs> Let's go. Five seconds left, y'all. Three, two, and one. Back to Romanian deadlifts. Toes up. Toes up. Back on our heels. Go down farther each time. If you notice, I kind of got that back arch just a little bit, making sure the strain isn't on my lower back. We don't be walking out of here with the back problems, if you know what I mean. Come on, five seconds left. Three, two, and one. Let's grab our weight, start off with the other leg. Boom, we're kneeing. Breathe, I don't care if you scream. Just as long as you're making some kind of noise. Ha, ha, let's go other side. Ha, ha, ha. We switched it up. Ha, ha, ha. Trying to get that knee as high as you can. Ha, 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 ha. All right, guys, here we go. Let's go, baby. Right into 
the tempo, Superman. Temp. Ba. Ha. Ha. On this one, this is all part of the core as well. All right, lower back, the back. It's all part of making those techniques as fast and as strong as possible. If you want quick kicks and punches, you've got to build the core. Three, two, and one. Back to it. Here we go. Knee slightly bent. Back on those heels. Control down. Explode up. I don't know if you notice the floor here, but I hope the, your floor is as, as dripping with sweat as mine. Breathe. Five seconds, y'all. Easy peasy. Two and one. It's time to knee somebody. Let's grab it. 15 seconds left. 15 seconds right. Got to hear you breathing. I want to hear you through the screen. Switch it up. Let's go. Pick it up. Five seconds. Four, three, two, and one. All right, this is the last one. We got to do it for a minute. Woo! Pulse it out, y'all. Ah, let's go. Let me hear it. Everybody say it. Let's go. We're working. Keep those knees up, chest up. Like you done jumped out of an airplane. Keep breathing. Oh, this one's a doozy. I'm feeling this one. We got 30 seconds left. Come on. Don't let those hands touch as much as you want them to touch. Don't let them touch the ground. Let it burn. You'll find yourself making weird faces in some of these just to keep going. Woo! It's burning all right. We got 10 seconds. Come on. Come on. Go to your happy place. Five, four, three, two, and one. Oh my goodness. I am feeling it. Final round of the fight, you guys. Round five. Last round, best round. We got Tabatas. 20 seconds off. Uh, 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off for each exercise. <sighs> All right. Guys, make some room. We got fast feet. We're going to go in here over the line. If you got a line there, if you don't, imagine one. Over the line. That's what we're starting with. All right. After that, we're going to go into our burpees. I'll explain how to do that in a second, how I like to do it. And then we got side shuffles. We got more fast feet. We're going to repeat all of that over and over again until you just pass out. That's the goal today. I'm kidding. But we got, we got about 10 seconds left, y'all. 10 seconds of breathing time. Cardio around. When it gets tough, the last round's always the hardest. So this way you got to push through. Let's go, baby. Fast feet. Over and back. Over and back. If you notice, I'm staying on my toes. Fast feet. And I'm chopping my arms. Chopping my arms. Come on. Over and back. Over and back. Let's go. Come on. Come on. I keep pushing. Over and back. Over and back. And rest. 10 seconds rest time. Take advantage of it. Down to our burpees. I'm going to show you how we do that in a second. It's just like a, just like a sprawl. So here, sprawl down, hip to the floor, back up. Down, hand to the floor, hip, and back up. If you wanted to go regular, go regular, right? If you want to step it back, step it up, do so. However you feel comfortable. I'm going to go with the sprawl. Taking a breather. Woo! Oh, my goodness. Side shuffles, guys. Side shuffles. Here we go. Squatting position. One, two, three. Back the other way. One, two, three. Just like so. Little squat. Give me a little squat. Pulsing those legs. Even when they're fatigued, you got to find it in yourself to keep pushing. Come on. And rest. Shake them out. Back at it again. Fast feet, y'all. Fast feet all day. Three, two, and one. Fast feet. 
Come on, keep up. Keep up. Chop those arms. Over and back. Stay light. Fifth round. Those muscles might be tired, but you gotta have the cardio to keep going. Rest. Back into our burpees. Wrestler shooting in. You're hitting with that sprawl. Back up to your feet. Here we go. Sprawling. Boom. He's shuffling in. He's trying to shoot. We're stuffing it. Back up to our feet. Bah. Back up to our feet. Bah. Remember, you can go classic as well. Bah. Or one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One more sprawl left. All right. 10 second break, then right into our side shuffles. Here we go. Oh, oh, here we go right now. Squat low, one, two, three. One, two, three. Get a little lower if you can. Two, three. Whew. Breathe. You're gonna feel it in those quads, especially after those burpees. That's okay though, because we like this kind of stuff. We love the burn, we live for it. Here we go. And take a breather. All right. We got one more round, baby. Here we go. Right into the fast feet. This is where you got to start picking it up. Come on. Fast feet, baby. Fast feet. You can do anything as fast as you can for 30 seconds. Come on. Move it. Move it. Breathe. Fast feet. Ooh, my feet are on fire right now. Y'all's feet burning. My feet are burning. Take a breather. All right, here we go. Last burpee. The guy's shooting hard. You're winning. He's trying to get you down to the floor. We got to sprawl it. And go. Back up. Breathe. Get that hip to the floor. Come on. One more. Breathe. Side shuffle. That's it. Here we go. Side shuffling. Keep that weight a little bit lower. Breathe as you work. Keep that back arched. Don't round your back off. Shoulders back. And breathe. Here we go, y'all. Three, two, one. Last one. Fast feet. We got fast feet. This is the last one. Give me all you got. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Your coach is in your corner, pushing you through. I'm your coach. So you got to listen. We're going to go all the way. We ain't stopping. We ain't getting no rest time. All the way. Five seconds. Three, two, and one. Hands up after every round. This is the mindset championship right here. Mindset. Championship mindset. After every round, I don't care if you won it. I don't care if you got beat up. That last round, always those hands go up. I tell everybody in the arena, the coaches, the judges, you're ready for more. And a lot of times when fights are close, it's the guy doing this, not doing this. After every round, that wins it. So time to cool down. What I want you guys to do, feet shoulder width apart, toes slightly turned in. I'm reaching up. Give me a good stretch, crossing those arms, keeping that back arched, taking those elbows down. Slow breathing. Try to lower that heart rate. Keeping those toes turned in. You don't want to round your back off. We're trying not to stretch here. We're trying to stretch those hamstrings. You can probably see it. Now, when I say go, take your right elbow towards your left foot and go. Right elbow towards left foot. All you should be doing now is stretching and sweating. Now, it's important after your workout to get a good stretch. These cool downs are amazing. You got to have the flexibility to make a lot of these techniques work. Switch sides. And if you don't have, if you're not stretching on, on a regular basis, 
A lot of these techniques won't work. Like your kicking ability, the round kicks to the head, hook kicks to the head. You have to have the dexterity in the hips and the hamstrings. Back to center. Now what I want you to do, grab the inside, take your chest to the floor. Good last squeeze here. Now there's, there's three T's to stretching. Number one, stay down in position, stay down. Number one is making sure that your temperature is up. So number one T is temperature. Make sure you're nice and warm before you stretch. Second T is tension. Whatever you're stretching makes you have good tension in whatever you're stretching. And of course, the last T is time. Sit there for a long period of time. I don't care if you're watching TV or what. Stretch. It's just, I'm telling you, it's going to help you. Now, knuckles to the floor, legs out slowly. Just give me a last little 30-second stretch here. Now, I'm not going down all the way. I'm going to where I feel it just a little bit, and I rock those knees back and forth, allowing those feet to slide slowly as you're breathing and sweating. It's the best part. Breathe. Allowing those feet to slide. We got 15 seconds. Stay in position. The hardest part is getting up out of this, this position, actually. I might need somebody to help me out. <laughs> Here we go. We got five, four, three, two, and bring them in. Everybody, excellent work. Thank you guys so much for coming in and hang out with me for Fight Camp Wonder Boy style. And I hope to see you guys next time. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. I know I did. As I mentioned earlier, this workout is part of a bigger four-week program that I designed in the Fight Camp app. Download the app today if you want to train like I do leading up to a fight.